I'm Morgan Gist McDonald. I'm the founder of Paper Raven Editing. I'm a writing coach, editor, and author. And I want to just give you guys three of my most essential writing habits that I always work with authors on. It really like just doubles your productivity. When you sit down to write, you want to use that time as effectively as you can because there's not a whole lot of like free chunks in the day. So my tip number one is to use a Pomodoro timer. It doesn't actually have to be a Pomodoro timer, but mine is. Mine's a little tomato. Pomodoro is Italian for tomato. And the it, Pomodoro is a productivity style. Um, so the idea is that you work in 25 minute chunks and then you take a five minute break before coming back to another 25 minute sort of chunk. So you're trying to be really like intensive, high focused, you know exactly what you're working on. So you prep for this by making a list of everything that you want to write. Whether that's I want to write these three blog posts or I'm working on this part of the chapter or whatever. You have like a list of the things that you want to write during this session and you sit down you're like okay this is what I'm writing. You set your timer. It doesn't have to be a Pomodoro. I use my cell phone most of the time, actually. <laughs> Just like the timer that comes with the phone in the normal utilities. Set it for 25 minutes, and working against the clock really helps you to focus. So that's my, that in itself, like, doubled my writing productivity because I knew I only had this amount of time and I got to get something done. So, yeah, thanks for the hearts. If any of this resonates, y'all throw some hearts out there. Let me know what engages you because I want to, I want to craft these scopes around you and your writing type and your style. So, um, Pomodoro, change your life. Okay, tip number two, track your writing progress. Every time you sit down to write, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Grab a notebook, grab a post-it. Well, maybe something more permanent than a post-it. <laughs> but a piece of paper or write it on a Word document. Or I actually use Google Sheets, which is like an Excel sheet that you share through Google. And write down the date and the time, like the number of minutes that you wrote and um, the number of words. So I will actually, I, I kept this, um, this, tracking progress log while I was writing my book and actually I'm going to flip around and I'm going to show you my Google Sheet so you can see how it looks. Hold on. So you can see here, this is my Google Sheet up here at the top. It says writing my book in eight weeks, which was actually more like 10. Um, I've got the date here and the day. I like to do the day so that I can see whether like weekdays or weekends are working for me. Um, the time. I'm usually a morning writer, so I've got like 6.30 to 6.50 a.m., 20 minutes, word count, and just notes what I was working on. And I've got some other notes down here. Um, I asked myself, was my word count met? That, what were my results from the week? What were my struggles? And what's my goals for next week? So that's kind of more detailed than you really need. But mostly I would say you need like the date and the time, minutes, and word count. And that way, let me flip back over to talk to you guys. The cool thing about tracking progress is that most writers are on one end of the spectrum or another. Um, um, the really <laughs> pessimistic writers are like, oh, I never get anything done. I've been writing forever and I have no progress. And then the really optimistic people are like, oh, I'm making so much progress. Like, I'm doing great. <laughs> That's you, Gigapops, I know. <laughs> the pessimistic. But, um, so I oscillate <laughs> depending on my mood, but the tracking progress really helps you to like stay checked in with reality and say, you know what, I may be feeling really pessimistic today, but honestly, last week I logged, you know, 3,000 words and that was fantastic. Like that was really good progress. It helps you kind of stay grounded in like what's actually happening in your writing. So track your progress. And then number three, write three to five hours a week every week when you're like actively writing blog posts or books or whatever during this like segment like these few months of your life make sure to write three to five hours every week like when writing is a priority it should really be a priority so that you can make you can feel that progress because if you're feeling the progress then the writing becomes more and more fun writing feels awful when you feel like you're making no progress you're like oh my gosh <laughs> i just want to like shoot myself right now but when you're making progress it's just exciting, it's the adrenaline pumping, you know, like even like endorphins, like it just, it feels awesome. So those are my really, my three best habits for you guys is use a timer and write in chunks of like 25 minutes and um, track your progress and write for three to five hours a week. It doesn't, and the three to five hours a week doesn't have to be every week for the rest of your life. It could be for like the next three months and you can make huge 
progress if you're willing to devote three to five hours every week. So if you guys tuned in sort of midway through, I actually, or if you just want all that written out, I made some scope notes. <laughs> it's a new thing. Um, but I wrote a little Evernote file with my thoughts in there and a little link to my Google Sheet so you can see that tracking progress and you can make one of your own. So let me show you the link. And this is where I'm gonna I'm gonna be posting scope notes for all of my foundational like high quality high value scopes. So if you follow me and you catch me live or the replay, you know that there's gonna be scope notes, and you can go to this link. Let me pick you up. It's my website, paperravenediting.com/slash-periscope, and when you go there, got my website over here. And I'll be posting all of the notes here so you can see like July 21st, 2015, if you click the little scope notes down here, it'll take you to the Evernote where I wrote all this down and gave you links so you can have it forever. And if you missed it, I'm going to, I haven't done this yet, but I'm going to post the replay on YouTube. So that's the plan guys. So if you want that link again, it, it, oh, sorry. Kind of hard to use, even with a tripod. <laughs> there we go. PaperRavenEditing.com slash Periscope. Hey guys, that's my message for today. I hope that's helpful. I hope you get to like be productive. Go write something today because today is the best day to write. Why not? It's awesome. Um, if you haven't yet already, hit that little androgynous figure down there. Um, and follow me. I try to scope at least daily, sometimes twice a day. I missed yesterday because we had sickness in our house, but everyone's better today. I'm better today. <laughs> and I want to, you know, tap into Periscope and this community of writers. Gigapops, nice, that's what I like to hear. So yeah, this is, I think this is a fantastic platform to get in touch with other writers and to exchange lots of ideas about writing and like the content, like even of your blogs and your books and how to write and all that sort of stuff. So from Texas, yay, I'm in Houston. Where are you from, GM? Um, how long have I had this app? Like a week, week and a half? So it's pretty fun, I like it. Any questions? Oh, good morning. Sorry, I'm not into the cool lingo yet. I'll remember that. GM is good morning. That makes sense because you've got like tiny little space to write contact con um, comments. What do you guys write? Anybody? Anybody? That's okay. I'll get you soon. <laughs> I, I want to know. Um, I want to know more about people. I feel like blogs are very like kind of one way, but Periscope is super cool because you can actually talk in real time. So we're going to get there. We're going to get there. All right, everyone. Have a good day. Go do some writing. Go do some productive writing and check out those scope notes. PaperRavenEditing.com slash Periscope. All right. I will catch you guys on the next broadcast. Bye.